everybody, look, it's a beautiful day. It's a miracle. It's not raining. Today's Thursday, and like I said on the last video, we were going to plant trees, fruit trees that we got, whatever day that was. Um, I got this uh, bulb drilling thingamajigger, and I'm hoping it'll make it easier to dig the holes for the trees. I don't have much faith because it's kind of rocky in here, but we'll see. If it don't work, then we'll use a shovel. It's supposed to rain on Monday, so I'm just going to dig a hole about one and a half times deep is what the pots are by one and a half wide so that roots have plenty of room to grow and then it's supposed to rain. Sophie's going poop. <laughs> then it's supposed to rain on Monday, so they should be good until then because the soil is pretty wet. So let's see how this works. Sophie thinks it's funny. Black & Decker is not a good brand, just saying. I could find is grafted onto a root system that is several or a few years older than what the branch is. So that stimulates it into fruiting because it thinks that it's older than what it really is. So most fruit trees, when you buy them, you're going to see this scar looking thing around here. And that tells you that it's grafted. So you don't want to put the dirt any higher than this graph because it will prompt suckers to come out underneath that graph.
Sophie's gonna try to pick it up. don't think are grafted are the pawpaw trees and that's because well in the last video I said they were wild what I meant to say they were native to Arkansas they they grow wild which means they're native what you break a nail no <laughs> buy that thing to work hard. The DeWalt's are for working hard.
hindsight's 2020. What I should have done is put a 2x4 or something between the bucket and the bolts. So it was better secured. Lesson learned. There's about 25, 50 pound bags of cement on this pallet and the plan was with the forks is to move the pallet inside the shop so it wouldn't get any more wet than it already has. A few bags have been ruined from the rain even though there's plastic on it. But I can use those for a retaining wall or something. There's still some good bags in there, several good bags. but. As you'll see here, the hydraulics won't lift all those bags. So we had to make a change of plans and do it by hand. Abigail is learning how to drive the tractor for the first time. I figured since her dream vehicle is a Jeep Wrangler, most of them are standard shift and this would be an easy way to teach her how to drive a standard shift. It's not quite the same but it'll give her the idea. So this is a uh, composite raised beds that we found on the marketplace for free. 
We're gonna plant strawberries in them right here.